Mia. I'm glad we were able to save you. Yes. Thanks so much, everyone. Next stop, the Cloud Key. We injured him. Oh. You can stop resisting now. Victory is already decided. Surrender quietly. Enough. You will find. I don't do as my foes bid me. The enemies you seek. Huh? I know more. It's you. Your senses return suddenly. You must be feeling confused. If we startled you, we're sorry. Everyone, please put away your weapons. Mimi! It's okay. It's Kamaravi. He wouldn't attack a defenseless opponent. What makes you so sure? I don't believe it's consistent with the warrior's way you follow. You've got some guts. You must want something of me. I'll hear you out. I'll start from the end. We want you to come to the city with us. City? Which colony is that? Is it a colony? How to explain? It's a special place. Safer than where we are at present. Of course, we don't intend to hold you against your will or force you into anything. And what has it to do with me? What do you seek to gain from this? We want you to live true to yourself. True to? Explain. Someone once showed us it was possible to live life as we wanted to. We want to pass it on and let you be free. Free? Ugh. Are you okay? It's nothing. Just a little twinge. Could it be... Miyabi's lingering influence? No. This is innate. I can't see through it, but it's fine. Remember the fight with P&O? It could be from that. That pain was the price. What Kamaravi paid for freedom. Or maybe... still does. About what you asked of me before, I have one condition. Promise me that they will receive the same treatment as I. That was our intent from the start. You needn't worry on that count. I thank you. Whatever the circumstance we find ourselves in, the crucial question is always, how do we live? They will realize it, too, before long. I wish to find the path I should tread, to discover my warrior's way. For now, we are traveling companions, headed for this place you call the city. Thank you. You will be welcome there. By the by, Kamaravi, how are you with height? In what sense? I thought you might be startled, so I wanted to give you a heads up. Hmm? You'll understand when you see it. We'll let you know once we're ready to go. Understood. I await eagerly. The rain.
radiant flame clock. Isn't it funny? Our being together here like this is partly thanks to this thing. We've made some new friends. I am a leaf on the surface of a lake. I am a stone warming in the sun. I am the clouds on a windless day. I am the reed that bends but does not break. You can relax. We've landed now. Guess he didn't like heights after all. Funny, considering how gung-ho he was riding around in his Faronis. Yeah, okay, but... I don't think we should talk about the past in front of him. He's just been born, and in a tenth-term body. I'm sure he just wants to focus on the here and now. What are you smirking at? Oh, just... You're a genuine good egg, Uni. Huh? Where did that come from? Hey there! Hey, Travis. Man, am I glad to see you guys. Something terrible's happened. You won't believe it. Oh, but no word of it to the boss lady, yeah? My salary's on the line here. That's a corker of a preamble, mate. You gonna actually tell us what's going on? Somebody opened one of the cradles. You think it was an intruder? I don't know. But there weren't any obvious signs of it. The soldier inside has gone missing as well. Someone you knew, I gather. It's, uh... Oh... Come on, it's on the tip of my tongue. You know, what's her name? Uh, with the silver hair. No way. Ethel! That's it, Ethel! Oh, why is all this happening on my watch? Oh, never mind. Now's not the time for reflection. If such is the situation... I shall assist as well. Where shall we look? What? Um, we were just... surprised that you were so... uh... concerned. Uh... I am also recently of a cradle born. It may be some kind of fate at work. This soldier named Ethel, she may also find herself at a loss. So he... didn't actually remember. And also... you, good sir. Huh? Me? You must be frightfully exhausted. Do not push yourself, please. 
Hey, watch it, fella. I know I'm no spring chicken, but there's no need to rub it in. Sorry, mate, he's just been born. I'm pretty sure he didn't mean anything bad by it. Anyway, moving along. Movement in and out of the city is strictly regulated, so if there weren't any incidents reported so far, both the perp and Ethel must still be somewhere inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's first search for clues in the module warehouse. Good luck to you, whippersnappers. In the meantime, we'll take custody of the friends you contacted us about. They're called Mwamba and Hacked. What's gonna happen to them? They're not quite back to themselves yet, right? We'll give them a checkup, make sure they're all there. And after that, well, keep them under observation, I suppose. Either way, you can leave them with us. We leave them in your able hands, then? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. They'll be safe as ours is. I'll be in the war room. Keep me abreast of any developments. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Sap my resolve. All oh, right. Well, I mean, it sort of makes sense. Well, it really is empty. It's definitely Ethel's module. But why would anyone want her? If we want to know that, we just got to catch him. And what do you know? They left us a clue. Nice of them. There's footprints all over the place. They seem to be in a rush. They're not Ethel's, are they? But then whose? We only have to follow them to find out. They can't have gone too far. Let's get going. with dirty feet. Ugh, disgraceful. I think that's probably the least of their issues.
you be with you now? Um, excuse me. Mimi? Kibibi, sorry. Sorry, so sorry. We haven't even said anything yet. Kibibi, no, without saying. Friends come looking for naughty boy Kibibi. Kibibi never meant to do any harm. Kibibi just... just want to enjoy a game of ultimate hide-and-seek. Hide-and-seek? What is that? It's ultimate pastime of daringly go and hide when not allowed to go. Daringly? Defying a prohibition? Me? Kibibi, please asking to not make scary face. So why did you open the cradle then? When get on panel, it opened by self. And when it opened, go wake up. Kibibi, really, truly sorry. We get it now, so wipe your tears. Look, you're getting your tummy wet. And what happened afterwards? Did you go somewhere with the Awoken Soldier? QBB gets scared and flee from scene of hide, but can tell Morley or Leslie where she go. QBB think it direction of Centrillo Parade. in a pine grove. I am Mithrice, growing across seasons. Me? Friend okay? Don't mind him. He's just, uh, trying to maintain his cool. I updated Travis on the situation. He says he's coming to collect QBB. Is QBB in serious trouble? I don't expect him to be too severe, but you will need to do some repenting. Let's leave QBB in Travis's hands and go track down Ethel. She looks quite distinctive. Someone on Centrillo Parade should have noticed her. You are right. Yes, let us go. We've made some new friends. Still a little unsteady. Take it easy. I'll look out for the uh, risky spots. you in time you're not hurt mm. I think I know you no. what's wrong with you nothing I just can't see anyway Kamaravi you're smoldering Kamaravi You recognize him. I have to go somewhere? I have to. But why? Take it easy. Let's take our time, yeah? We'll help you look. No problem. Now comes the tricky part. What do we do from here? What can we do except foster her in the city? A first termer won't be any use in a fight. Do you find that acceptable? I don't know. I have. 
have a proposal. Would you leave her with me for a while? Wait, you're saying you want to look after Ethel? Just until she settles on her own path. I want her to have that freedom. I don't know why, but I feel it strongly. For now, let's see what Travis thinks. As the city's concerned too, we shouldn't decide alone. Travis, I fear we will wear him out again. It's not fatigue that that guy struggles with. You know what? Forget it. Maybe just don't say that to him, yeah? He's kind of touchy about it. I understand. I will mind my ways around him. Well, this certainly took an unexpected turn. We can't allow the lost to founder. Allow me to take charge. The hunger is stirred. We've been all over, haven't we? I guess I mostly understand. Are you sure you can handle child rearing? Child rearing? What is that? In a nutshell, I'm asking if you're capable of taking responsibility for the proper upbringing of this little princess. I'm not princess. My name is Ethel. <laughs> Too precious. If you would consent to it, I will serve for the good of the city. I am sure I have my blind spots, but I always complete the duties assigned to me. I'll help too. Uh, but you cannot fight. I can be your eyes, though. I can see that which you cannot. No? By the flames. Spirited, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Too spirited, I'd say. Look, let me bend your ear a little. You don't think it's going to work? It's not really my position to think anything. Right. Well, I'll try talking to Monica then. Oh, okay, f fine, fine, fine. I, I get it. Uh, let's do this. I'll take care of Ethel, and instead we'll have Kamaravi help out on the combat side. That'll be perfect, don't you think? Hey, hey. You're that scared of Monica? Oh, I'm scared, all right. But I'm not just trying to cover it up from sheer terror, okay? It's just that woman takes on way more than she should. I bet she doesn't know how to take it easy. So I figured, you know, I'd lighten her load by doing this much, at least. Your warrior's way is unimpeachable, sir. I will never forget your kindness. Be sure, the debt will be repaid. Oh yeah? Well, make it hundredfold, then. Don't get greedy, Trav. Oh, we're doing nicknames now. How about we start with Lieutenant Travis and go from there, eh? I am deeply indebted to you all as well. Don't sweat it. No, this is truly a grave debt. Especially... Tyon. You said I should live true to myself. I haven't discovered exactly what that means yet. But now I understand what you meant, at least. And I'm grateful to you for setting me on the right path. You were the source of the spark that set my flame alight. Thank you. Um... Tyon, he's talking to you. I know. I just never in my life thought I would be on the receiving end of this kind of speech. The future. Really, it is a foreign country. Huh. I suppose it is. I'm sure in time you and Ethel will find it. The right path, the right code to live by. Yes. Until such time, I, Kamuravi, remain ready to do battle for the city. And for you as well. Oh, 
so that's how they're doing. Come on, who else? So that's the state of affairs. I'll take the offensive then. Do people have to make so much noise? This might get complicated. Time to venture out. So, how's life in the big city? Are you used to it yet? I'm growing quite accustomed, yes. Just as long as I don't look down. By the way, I seem to have angered Michiba earlier. She's hard to read. Any ideas, Noah? Um, well... I don't really think I can help you there, mate. a real bookworm. She's always pestering me for more reading material. That's Ethel, always trying to better herself. More power to her. Let's see what you have.
So that's the state of affairs. Musical instruments. What purpose do they serve? They can make you sad or joyful. The sound alone can stir your soul. Do you want to try one for yourself? The Remembrance Stones, was it? Place to still the heart, so I'm told. That's right. It's a place to honor the dead and to look deep inside yourself.
This would be our target. Don't you go losing that. This would be our target. Ah, oh, I'm so glad we found it. This would be our target. Something of value. Be careful with it. Is this, like, a rare thing? Glad we found it.
again. They've really gone and done it now. Oh, a container. Oh, seriously? It's right there, but there's no way to it. Whoa, what's with that one? What kind of place is this? Is this what you wanted?
war zone for these little ones. They fight each other for territory. I didn't realize parks were such dangerous places.